So what happened to those birds? What birds? The bird that is now an orange. Is it going to live an entire life as an orange? What about the frog that's an orange? <laughs> Could they mate? Could, what would the babies be? <laughs> Oranges? Frog bird? I'm just, it's, it's interesting that nobody seemed particularly concerned about the fate of those two animals. Yeah, even Flutter, I mean, was she even there? She I don't think she, you know, I think she would have been horrified. Yeah, it's like, that, you know, but it's weird how they were still alive and relatively happy. I mean, I wouldn't be too upset if I got turned into an orange. So think about that. that Especially mean, the frog, which sort of was like pack orange. Like We have a sort you of taste, Imagine for that tasting orange all the time. Because Discord was turned to stone and Twilight was turned to stone, but they could be recovered. So they were still alive in some sense. So turning someone else into effectively an inanimate object... They couldn't turn back. Yeah, in a way that was very Discordian magic. I mean, why was it that spell particularly hard that Twilight was having all this trouble with it? Phew, this spell's a toughie. Well, I mean, transmutation, then, is alchemy not very hard? Is it very difficult to make gold? But she wasn't using alchemy. She was using just horn magic to do If that. she could just make gold, then no one would ever need bits again. <laughs> she could devalue the currency. I'm sure Celestia would. Have, I'm sure they have, you know, magic <laughs> regulations. Uh, and I'm sure if you try to violate the magic regulations, Celestia would know. So maybe it's because transmutation. I mean, apple to orange are both fruit. They're both fruit. They're both, you know, from a plant. They're very similar. They're just slightly different, yet that's difficult. I guess. So I guess other kinds of maybe But it's really easy to turn an animal into a fruit, but only partially. Only if she's startled, It still startled, keeps though. other parts of it. Maybe it's like in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. The thing only worked because it shot through the baseball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you don't shoot through the baseball, it just blows up whatever you're pointing at. Obviously worked on the kids. I just don't get it. That apple would have exploded. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. But that's not the, the central question. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the central question is, what was up with that punk cloud? What was that cloud up to? Okay, so Rainbow Dash <laughs> is taking care of the weather. And usually you think taking care of the weather is like you bring some clouds from Cloudsdale. They rain. You bring them, you push them out of the way. Yep. You kick them to get rid of them, right? Uh, when they're spent. Friggin' she had some punk cloud that got heavier than it usually does, and all she's on mad. its own. This punk cloud got so heavy it's making fog. Figure I'll thin this bad boy out so it floats back up. She's mad at the cloud too. She's like, some punk cloud, bleh. Right, and then she's got to lighten up the cloud so it goes back up to the sky. What? I thought the clouds couldn't handle themselves. How did the cloud do that? Uh, maybe it can handle itself, but it's like uh, a certain rabbit we know. It was just being a dick. Uh, so that's Angel the Cloud. Now there's another thing you could think about. Remember when Discord came and the the cloud that was problematic was going around doing his business and Rainbow Dash was chasing it like, there's this crazy cloud, uh. There's precedent for there being clouds that are strong-willed. So there's some, mm. I, clouds might have See, some even though low they, level. Even though they make clouds in a factory, right? In Cloudsdale. <laughs> You're saying they have some sort of will. Maybe they have some sort of will. Maybe. Maybe that's why they need to, man you know, we keep thinking they need to manually manage them because if they don't, it'll just like never rain or it'll just stay the way it is and nothing will change, right? And the animals will just die because they can take care of themselves. But we do see animals have some will. Maybe it's that everything but ponies, if the, the, those wills are followed, everything will be chaos. Chaos is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Right? And, and horribleness, like the Everfree Forest, right? So basically, you know, it's not that the ponies have to take care of the animals and have to take care of the clouds, but it's that if they don't, everything will suck ass. Right, because the natural order of things is a horrible order, <laughs> or maybe there's as opposed a, to a neutral order. Thing is, the Everfree Forest is not so bad. It's mostly quiet. People walk through there all the time recently, and nothing really <laughs> bad happens. It's weird. At one time they go to there's a manticore and a sea serpent, but every other time they go in there, it's like oh bramble. Oh well, oh. They, when they went to Froggy Bottom Bog, <laughs> that was a, Froggy someone, Bottom Bog isn't in the Everfree Forest. So where is Froggy Bottom Bog? It's on the other side. So on the other side of Everfree Forest, but still a dangerous uh, place They did not have to go through the Everfree Forest to go to the Froggy Bottom Well, that's because bug. she just flew over it with her little wagon. I don't know. Anyway.